From WLWT, this is Issues. Hey, welcome to Issues. I'm Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney of Sesh Communications and the Cincinnati Herald. It's summertime, there's so many great things going on. A little later, we're gonna talk about it's commonly jazz and also Juneteenth, we're gonna celebrate freedom. First, we're gonna talk about some good food and music and vendors. It's the Cincinnati Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. We love men who cook. Here's the first vice president of the chapter, Lagaya West. Good Welcome, Lagaya. Thank you. And Michael Davis, who is one of the chefs who's going to be there. You're with AFIA, so, yes. you know, shout out to the first fam over there. So, um, <laughs> so really excited to have both of you here. And this is the seventh annual We Love Men Who Cook event. Yes. And it is, it's always fantastic. So I just want, let me give a shout out to Michael first because part of it is a contest and I said, yes. have you ever won? And you said you won year before last. Yes, I was People's Choice winner for you were my- People's Choice, okay. Yes. All right, and so you didn't win last year. So I said, you're coming back with, with a vengeance. You're exactly. determined to win this year. Okay, exactly. we're gonna let Lagaya tell us about the event first and we're gonna come back to you and find out what it is you're gonna be cooking. Right. Okay. So tell us about We Love Men Who Cook. Okay, well, We Love Men Who Cook is just that. I personally, this is a personal favorite of mine because I do love men who cook. Don't um, we all? Oh my goodness. And so, and yes. so uh, on the 23rd of this month, we will have over 20 cooks coming out. This is an all-male cook-off. Um, coming out, they'll be cooking things from um, brisket to mac and cheese. Mm. In the past, we've had winners cooking greens, so oh, that's yum. good greens, right? Yeah, and um, that's a great combination, mac yeah, and cheese and greens. Yeah, yeah. and um, so covering a, a variety of uh, food uh, categories, so we'll have uh, appetizers, sides, meats, and desserts. Um, and then we'll get to eat for about three hours, yeah. In the middle of that, we'll do a little partying. We, we have a DJ, and you can also do a little shopping with some of our vendors. Yeah, and I remember the vendors have some really nice stuff. I mean, yes. it's a great time. I always think, you know, when people have these events with vendors, it's a good time to start buying holiday gifts and yes. birthday gifts and anniversary yes. gifts, and because you get really unique things there. So. Yes, and it's all affordable. So. It's all affordable, yeah. yeah. They do a really great job. So tell us now when and where it's going to be. So it's going to be uh, Saturday, June 23rd. Um, starting at one o'clock, I uh, will be at the uh, JCC Mayerson Center. And, and I should say, while um, the guy is talking, we have some pictures from, from some past events. Here's some chefs up for those watching on the air. I know oh. some people listen on radio, but yeah. Yeah, and for those who are watching on the air, we have a, a picture here. Uh, this is one of our cooks, and he has a cook assistant. So some of our oh, cooks are able cute. to bring in a little bit of help because it can get a little hectic. Oh, and sometimes great. you just want to bring it. Um, some, sometimes folks bring a young a young guy with them to uh, just get them exposed and just that to have, you know, great. increase the, the fun. Um, Yum. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All that good food. Okay, so let's talk about, okay, yeah. not only is the food good, but... <laughs> we got distracted. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, well you can finish because you were going to give the information Jeff okay, has. Okay, yeah. Then we're going to talk about what the, where the proceeds are going. Go ahead. Right, so it is at the Marison Center. Um, for tickets, the general admission is $25. Uh, we do have a collegiate admission at $20 just to give them an opportunity to come in and enjoy some oh, food as great. well. Okay. Um, we have $10 for children. And then uh, the VIP ticket is $40. Of course, that's gonna come with a, a, a nice swag bag full of goodies. Oh. Um, and then just to reiterate, the uh, location is the Mayor's, uh, Mayerson uh, JCC. It is at located at 8485 Ridge Road. And really easy to find. Yes. It's so yes. easy to find. Okay, that's gonna be great. All right, so the proceeds go to, and I think this is wonderful, to, the, um, uh, to Delta Sigma Theta's youth programming. Yes. And, uh, and and to the annual scholarships. Yes. So and let me let me let me break that down a little bit for you all. So um, we actually have um, two youth programs. Um, we have the Delta Gems, which are our high school girls, and we have our Delta Academy, which are our junior high girls, um, and that's ages 10 to 14. And we focus on STEM. Uh, we also that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And it's a fun it's a fun time. They've dissected pigs. Uh, they have. Wow. I mean just. 
and any and everything that you can think of, they have done. That's yeah. a very exciting program. Um, we also put on a teen summit that we invite teens from all across the, um, the city. So this, this time we let boys come. Okay, um, oh good, <laughs> all right. Um, so that, that was a good time as well and, and that we use that to, you know, provide some life skills, uh, find, talk about finances, talk about a little, get a little bit into politics and, and being, um, be socially aware. Um, we talk about sexual health and everything. We actually um, um, co-sponsor that with uh, the children uh, Children's Hospital. So oh, that's good. good. That's wonderful. Um, and then we also have, in, in addition to our actual programs, we have a, a college prep workshop, uh, typically in the Excellent. fall. Excellent. Yes. Um, so that's a good time as well. Delta Sigma Theta is busy. You we are busy. You do a lot of really great programming. Yes. And and it, okay. Go. No, no, go, I, I didn't want to cut you off, but I want Michael to have a chance to tell us what is he going to cook this year. I am doing my mean mac and cheese. Yep. Oh, you're doing the mac and cheese. Which was oh. the people's or people's choice of winner. Yep. And so we're expecting it to win this year. Yes, we are. Okay, so I know <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. And you've been doing this for four years. This is my said. fourth year. Okay, yep. and you're one of the 20-something yep. cooks. I mean, yep. one of the 20-something yes. chefs. I think that's fantastic. And they're all men. All the chefs are men. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, again, it's going to be Saturday. The 23rd. The June 23rd. Yes. It's at the Mayerson right there. The Mayerson JCC. Right. Right on Ridge Road. Right. And, um, and, and how do people get tickets? You can get uh, tickets from, if you go to our website, you can uh, get tickets um, online using Eventbrite. Or you can... Uh, we have a Facebook page. You can message us there, or you can find your favorite Delta, and I'm sure she'll have tickets ready for you. That's great. Now, we're going to link people through WLWT.com to the Delta Sigma great. Theta website. Thank you. I'm um, Cincinnati Appreciate Alumni it. Chapter, yes. and so we want to make sure that people have a really easy time finding tickets, because this is a big event. It is. I mean, yes. the first time I came, I thought, wow. One, I couldn't believe all the food and all the vendors, and the music is going. And, yeah. I mean, it's really fun. I mean, you'll see everybody you know there, yes. and it's exciting and just just a, a great time and going to a really good cause yes and can yes. I can I add one more thing absolutely we also give out scholarships so this yes. year we were able to give out twenty five thousand oh, dollars so huge. this is very these these fundraisers are very very important uh, to funding those and we were able to help uh, I believe 12 girls this year. That's fantastic. So, yes. That is so important. My daughter yep. was in the Delta Sigma Theta Cotillion. Cotillion. Yes. And you all gave her a ton of money for college. It helped her so much. So, yes. thank you for that. So, Michael, we're going to see you there. We're going to be rooting for you. We're going well, to, I think I'm going to come to the mac and cheese station first and, and check that out. Definitely do that. All right. Great. All right, Lagaya, we'll see you there too. All right. and, we'll, and we'll see you there. So, stick with <laughs> us. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back. Okay, we are getting ready to talk about It's Commonly Jazz. I mean, it's just not summer unless we're hearing music in Eden Park. So let me welcome the founder of It's Commonly Jazz, Carolyn Wallace. Hi. It's so good to have you back. And Alice Frazier, you've been working with It's Commonly Jazz for quite a few years. Yeah, we're, all, we're approaching year 10. Year 10, but it's been going on for 33, 33 years, years. Mm -hmm. starting back at Swift. And tell us about the history. Oh, yeah. It's Commonly Jazz started out as just a program that we did at the shopping center, Swift and Commons, and it grew and grew, and now it's taking place at Season Good Pavilion, even though the shopping center is not there anymore. Right. We still have a lot of those fans that come and support this event. And it's really grown. I mean, I, I, not only, well, this year we have, what, five, five, five weeks, weeks. Five weeks of, of music. But there, there, there's food out there, and I don't remember it's Swift and Sing food, but maybe there yeah. was. So we had the food court at that time, the and then court. there was okay. vendors. So now we've got like the food out there, and it's like a family reunion. People come, new people come, and then people who've been coming for years come back. The audience is growing. One of the things that we like is, is there are kids who used to bring their parents at the Swifton Shopping Center and drop them off and leave them, but now those kids are coming to the event themselves right. with their kids. So that is wonderful. it's been a generation. That but one great. of the things that I'm real excited about this year is that in the last couple of years, we've taken the approach to highlight 
what's good right here in Cincinnati mm -hmm. with the jazz artists. Because we have the, so much talent so here. So much oh talent. Oh my goodness, yeah. So we haven't had, we don't have a shortage of that. So there's a great lineup and Alice is gonna talk about that. Okay, though. well Alice, yeah. take it away. Who, who's well, coming? Well, who's coming is and since we're, great pictures, I mean, when you look like at, it. you're gonna okay. see some of those musicians back with us this year, because we're kicking off the year with Brent Gallagher on August 2nd. Yay. And Brent is a an amazing saxophonist who's been playing here in the city and playing all over the world. So he's bringing him and friends together to kick off this year. The second night, we are bringing back one of the great ladies of jazz who is the preeminent bassist around. Mimi Jones has her own band and is debuting the Black Madonna Project with us for the second night of wow. the series. The third night is the big band sound with the Cincinnati Contemporary Jazz Orchestra. Wow. The fourth night, it's all about the Nasty Natty Brass Brand led by none other than Michael Mike Wade. Wade. Oh, so wow. you all know that's going to be quite a night. And yes, we'll make sure there's barbecue with us that night okay, in the backstage good. Yeah, area. Yeah, got to have that barbecue, <laughs> right. Yes, and right. then the final night is the Cincinnati All-Stars. Uh -huh. And Eugene Goss is back on the stage. And Yay. we had to bring him back with his friends to bring it all home for this year's that is concert so season. So every Thursday in August mm -hmm. is it's commonly jazz mm -hmm. and 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 what time does it start Carolyn? Starts at six o'clock. At six o'clock. On the dot. So people probably should get there a little bit earlier and here's, and here's right. a big lineup. Now, you should know that the backstage area you can grab dinner so we're gonna have either Eli's barbecue, Mardi Gras with their catfish will be out there. Oh yeah. So Latoya, there's no yeah. reason not to have dinner. You know where you can park through Mount Adams. They're friends of its commonly jazz from Playhouse in the Park, Cincinnati Art Museum. So there's no a shortage of parking. Right. And um, and there's parking down the hill, also up right. the hill, and right. um, at the Art Museum. And there's a par there are parking lots everywhere. So right. people just drive around. You'll find. And you can space. get your steps in. Yeah, get your steps <laughs> yeah. in. Right. 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 You can get Ten thousand steps, steps. We've got the Family Fun Zone, and the way that we've got jazz. Um, We've got a few who like to get their Zumba jazzercise moves in oh, along the walkway. So, um, what fun! Mm -hmm. um, good so, way and to it's, get And the, it's free. It's I mean, free. oh my it's goodness! You know, like, I don't even know other cities who actually do this. I mean, this is a, this is amazing in Cincinnati. This is truly yeah. the longest running concert series in the city, and so. When people this think must be of some kind of national record, of I'm thinking. cool well, you know, jazz, we have cool jazz on that hillside. Yes, <laughs> and we're really not that far behind the Chicago Jazz Fest, which has been going on for about 36 or 37 okay, years. Okay, so we're right. So we're right behind. Them. We're at 33. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. So 33 years. And again, it starts August 2nd, and it's every Thursday at 6, but people can come at 5-ish, I guess, to eat, yeah, maybe even Grab earlier. dinner, grab right. their spot, lay out the blankets. We're going to have our community tables, okay. so you'll get to find out what's happening mm -hmm. in the community City. and find out where else you can go for great jazz. Oh, that's fantastic. Right. Okay, Thank so you. Alice, give us the rundown so again. So here we, we go. August 2nd, Brent Gallagher and Friends. August 9th, we've got Mimi Jones bassist and band leader debuting her Black Madonna project. We've got the Cincinnati Contemporary Jazz Orchestra on August 16th. On the 23rd, we have Mike Wade and Friends, also known as the Nasty Natty Bass Band. <laughs> they will, Brass Band, they will be out. And then on the 30th, we've got the Cincinnati All-Stars led by great jazz vocalist Eugene Goss, and he's bringing a few special friends who are coming in town, coming oh. in from being out on the road, who have been globe trotting, they will be with us oh my on that 30th. So don't miss it. Oh my yeah. goodness, all that. And it's an Eden Park right. season good pavilion, which is such a beautiful place. I mean, you sit out there among all the gorgeous trees and <laughs> Oh, that's just yeah. perfect. You eat that good food and listen to that good music and mm -hmm. you meet old friends and, and make new ones. It's just a, a not miss event. And, and to me, what's important, you're right here in Cincinnati. Right here you in Cincinnati. You don't have to leave town to do it. Right, and it's, so, it's free and it's for the whole family. Right. All right, thank you so much thank for you. doing this for 33 years and for 10 years, and we will see you there at Eden Park. Stick with us, we'll be back in just a moment talking about freedom. Yes, thank, thank you. you.
Okay, we're going to talk about freedom because we are celebrating Juneteenth here in Cincinnati, and Lydia Morgan is the founder of this event mm -hmm. in Cincinnati. We didn't have it before. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, welcome back. It's so good to Thank see you. Thank you. It's great to be and here. Yes. June, you've been doing Juneteenth, what, 31 years? 31 years, right. That's amazing. And it's, great. it's such a great event. So let's go back, because every year we have to say this, it's kind of debatable what the history is. Let's hear the definitive history. What That's is fine. Juneteenth? Okay, uh, Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom and it actually uh, denotes the day in June that the slaves in Texas were finally freed because um, though there was the Emancipation Proclamation in 63 that did not free anybody right and then there was the war and the battles freed people so the war was over in 65 April 65 but in June of 65, the slaves in Texas had not heard that they were free. Right, nobody yet. called them on nobody the Nobody called them up. Yeah. <laughs> right. They didn't Google it. <laughs> right, right. It just wasn't happening. So, anyway, um, uh, a, um, an officer general from the Union Army landed at Galveston and realized that they were still, you know, status quo with the slavery issue. And he reread the proclamation and people celebrate it and and there are all kinds of um you know rationales about well they probably knew they just wanted them to get their crops in before you know oh, that kind man, of stuff are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, yeah really but you know i don't i don't know the is of that but i do know this they were smart enough that when the people decided they were celebrating those people who owned those plantations there were giving them sides of beef and all kinds of stuff because they still had crops that right. needed to come in. Yeah. So anyway, um, that was the first one, and it was uh, so not clear if it was actually June 19th, but it was a teen day in June. Thus Juneteenth. Thus Juneteenth. Right. Yeah. So we know so, it was mid June. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, well, yeah. Somewhere in there. So it's it's uh, it's been steady in Texas. It's actually a holiday in Texas. Uh, and off people get, oh, get really? off okay. on the oh, holiday wow. in Texas. Yeah. And uh, it's, so we don't get we don't have a holiday here, but we do celebrate. Uh, uh, we do celebrate, and, and we are with a group that's moving toward getting a holiday. Oh, for really? the country. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Because it is very important that's to huge. celebrate. Right. The to celebrate freedom. Freedom. Yeah. Yes. It, it's very important. Uh, so anyway, though. Um, during the um, Depression, it, it kind of slowed down a little bit, of course, but right. it's been going on all of those years. And then we started here in 88, um, and um, it's just been... People look a, forward to it oh every gosh. year. And, yeah. and it is such a growing experience. I cannot tell you, every year almost I learn something new, and I'm going, oh, I didn't know that. That's you right. Know? It is really, and I think, um, especially now when we don't have... We have history being taught in schools, don't get me wrong, but we don't have a lot of history as it relates to African American people. And I think um, we just, we need to understand our history. Exactly. And, we, and, and not oh. just us, everybody, everybody needs to understand that history right. so that we can move forward. Because if, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been taking yeah. Some giant steps uh, backwards, yeah, and that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've noticed, but that, <laughs> that, that's another show. That's another okay. show, right? <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what's happening at Juneteenth, because it's, okay. it's June 16th and 17th. And 17th, right. Okay, so what's going to happen June On the 16th. And, and, and it's at Eden Park. It's at Eden Park, okay. right. It's at Eden Park. On the 16th, um, we'll start off with the kickoff, and that will have um, people there. Um, and that's at 1 o'clock? And that, No, 12. At 12 o'clock. That's okay. at 12 o'clock. Festival yeah. kickoff parade of flags. Yeah, the in. parade of flags. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. The parade of flags is beautiful. Yeah. Represent Your kids have been in that I know. Before, you they know, love that. So representing the yeah. diaspora. All of, yeah. All, all of the countries, countries black folks have been to. Been taken from and all of the countries that they are taken to. And it's, um, it's just an amazing thing for me when I first realized every country in North and South America has had some form of African slavery. Wow, and, yeah. and in addition to that, some European countries have also had some right. form of African slavery. So, so it's, the, it, flag the flags are there symbolizes. and they're beautiful and the kids, it's an enjoyable kind of thing. So we do and that's the around Mirror Lake, that isn't we, it? We, we walk from Mirror Lake 
up to season good. Okay, all right. You know, and then we have um, uh, historical reenactors, you know, um, L uh, Lincoln will be there with his wife and we'll have uh, soldiers there and Buffalo soldiers there. We'll have, we usually have Tuskegee Airmen, um, but this year we, we, we won't have them as strongly as we have had in the past, but we do have the Moffa Port Marines, which is another group of men who started something in the military that was destined not to, f you know, not to do well. Okay. But they did, they did. very well, yeah, exactly. very well. Yeah. And so we have that group that's gonna be there and um, it, it's, it's just very exciting. And I'm, I'm looking here, Lydia, at one o'clock, um, Bia Koto. Bia Koto is gonna be there. African dance and drums, they're gonna right. perform. You've got a jazz renaissance is right. at two. Uh -huh. Is that and Miss Jazz? Miss Jazz is gonna three. be there at three. Motown and Tribute Motown, at four. Mo yeah. Last mm -hmm. Boppers at five. Mm -hmm. Basic Truth at six. Greg Jackson and Zap uh -huh. Anthology at eight. Oh, so yeah. it's all day. All day. And we have two stages, so the um, the stage at Mirror Lake will also have things going on. Right. I see the pra yeah. yeah, the praise and dance, mm. and yeah, and Jeff is telling me to hurry up. So yeah. then on Sunday, starting at two o'clock, we've got all Father's kinds Day of concert that's going to end with the uh, Charles Fold Singers. Okay, and it's just going to be a it's very wonderful, very good so weekend. So again, it's free. Yeah. People it's need to free. come on to People Eden just Park. Need to come. June There's 16th food, and 17th. Lot, parking is fine. Right, sometimes 16, you have 17. zoo animals there, no, we storytellers. Do. We and horseback riding and storytelling. Right, it's, it's going to be fantastic. fabulous. Thank you right. for doing that. We're celebrating yes. freedom. That is thank just, you. thank yes. you for keeping that legacy going. We need going. to celebrate freedom, right. But thank you, Lydia. Stick with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Lots of great events coming up. Okay, here we go. We've got the uh, camp, my future, my success is coming up, my time, my way, a fun and interactive camp for uh, teens and preteens, and it's June 11th through the 14th. For, it's at Grace Episcopal Church. For information, call 513-304-6390. That camp is phenomenal. Don't miss it. The Panagiri Greek Festival, Friday, June 22nd, Saturday and Sunday at Holy Trinity St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church right up there on, on Winton Road. It's only $2, food, rides, dancing, everything, free parking and shuttle from St. X High School. Don't miss the Panagiri, lots of, lots of entertainment. And Kathy Wade's Crown Jewels of Jazz will be coming up Wednesday, June 27th at 6 p.m. at St. Aloysius Chapel right there on Reading Road. Uh, in Bond Hill, uh, admission um, is, that I'm not sure exactly how much it is per person, but just call 513-242-6028, extension one, and that's Wednesday, June 27th. And I wanna tell you about the Owning It for Home Ownership Seminar. It's gonna be at the African American Chamber. It is coming up, and so just go to Eventbrite dot com and you will see that just look for owning it it's on june 30th don't miss that have a great week stay safe and stay positive